This statue evokes anger. Now a congressman and a councilman are joining the call to have it removed. They even want to give it away on Craigslist. Mocker went to find out why it's such a big deal. I've been to some press conferences in my time in the city where the people involved knew how to put on a show. And you know me, I, I know a show when I see one. That's why I want you to look at this statue. I've showed it to you before, reported on it before. What's it, what's it make you think about? It's here on the grounds of Queensboro Hall. But I need you to look at it from this angle, dare I say the uh, backside. It uh, is called the triumph of civic virtue, meant to represent humankind and government overcoming vices such as corruption. And it's depicted here using the uh, mythical figures of the sirens. But uh, it could be a man standing on two women, so you see where this is headed. It's the reason for the press conference. Aren't we just being too literal for what is a, an artistic representation? Yeah, look, there's no doubt that, the, that this, is not, it's not, this is not government literally standing on the foot of corruption, or not literally standing on the foot of, of vice. But by depicting women in that role, by depicting women under a muscular man was a common artistic form of its time, which is out of step with our cultural expressions of the moment. I did some research on this and found Mayor LaGuardia moved it here to Queens from City Hall because when he looked out his window, he saw, well, this side of things. That's Congressman Wiener's office right over there. Okay, here's the Craigslist posting. Calls the statue sexist and tasteless. Says proceeds from the sale of this sexist eyesore will benefit the city of New York. Shipping is not included. Posted by U.S. Representative Anthony Wiener. Hopefully with the, with the technology, maybe someone will read this and say they want it in, at their estate and it'll be good riddance by then. This is a way to call attention to it then yes. more. Uh, yes, I mean, I, this, is, this is certainly a symbolic quest. The, one of the, in the research I've done, uh, Mayor LaGuardia kind of got rid of it because he didn't like looking out and seeing the guy's butt. Um, yes. Now, do you want to be attached to this story now as it, having it removed perhaps or trying because you just because you found it ugly? Well, I, I do find it ugly, I do find it offensive, and I do represent a lot of my constituents who find it the same way. Um, are, if you're suggesting maybe it'd be better if we turned it around and had his, his caboose facing Queens Boulevard, I don't think it'd make that much of a difference. I think this is offensive from any angle. Before I go, I'm here inside Queensboro Hall to check in with the community board, community board nine, and Marianne Carey, the manager. I know what, uh, I know how she feels about this. They support it because I've talked to her about, uh, about this issue. I wonder what she thinks about uh, these developments. But no one's suggesting let's go in there with a sledgehammer. No, he better not. <laughs> We'll call the police on him, have him arrested. I don't see it as depicting anything but mermaids or some kind of creatures. I don't see it in relation to women at all. He said maybe they could put a tarp over it or so. Hey, at least he's not staring at the backside. On the trail of something different, I'm Greg Mocker, PIX11 News. Are we going to apply modern PC standards to every painting and every museum next? I don't know.